Hi, I'm Miriam from the South Regional Library. I want to invite you to create a fairy garden. Join me each week during the summer learning program for a new video showing you how you can make objects for your fairy garden from things you probably already have in your home or yard. You can show us your creation on social media with the hashtag Little Fairy Garden. I look forward to seeing them. Please subscribe to the Broward County Library channel and click the bell button so you won't miss any of the videos. Hi, I'm Miriam. Welcome back to my little fairy garden craft, a part of the Broward County Library's summer learning program. This is part 11 in a series of 12. Today I'll be showing you how you can make toadstools and ladybugs for your fairy garden. For this craft, you will need small smooth rocks, red, white, and black acrylic paint, paint brushes, hot glue gun, and glue sticks. To make the toadstools, select two small rocks and glue them together like this. Hold it in place, being very careful not to burn yourself while the glue dries. Once the glue is dry, you can go ahead and get started with the paint. Paint the bottom white. If you need to add extra coats, just make sure that you let the first one dry before you add the next coat. Once the white part is done, color the top red. Again. If you think you need extra coats on it, just make sure you let the first one dry before you proceed with the next one. Once the bottom and the top are done drying and you are happy with the coverage that you have, you're gonna take any brush that you have and you're gonna use the back of it to make small dots all over it to make it a toadstool. Just like this. Adding, adding as many as you like. And that's it. That's it for the toadstool. You can put that aside, let it dry until you want to put it into your fairy garden. Now to make the ladybugs, you're going to just select one smooth rock. The smoother that it is and the more round that it is, the better it's going to make you look like a ladybug. So you're going to go ahead and take the red paint and paint the rock on one side only red. Make sure you let it dry in between coats that if you feel like you don't like the coverage and you want more, just keep adding more coats until you are happy with how much coverage there is. Just let it dry in between coats so that you'll have a nice finished job. Let that dry. Once that's dry, you should have something like this. And then you're just going to make it the parts of the ladybug. So select a thin brush, take some black, and you're sort of going to draw like a heart shape, but not fully a heart shape. If you understand what I mean, let me just show it to you. So you start here at the head of the ladybug, bring it down, bring it in like this, bring it on this side, around the corner. And then just 
just take it across to make the head. And then you could leave it like that if you like, but I went ahead and I would like to fill it in right here. And it just helps make the ladybug's features more prominent. Now I'm going to take the back of the brush, dip it into the black just slightly, and give the ladybug's its signature dots. Add as many as you like, there's no right amount. And let that dry just for a few minutes. Once it's dry, just take the back of the brush again, another brush of course, add a little bit of white and make the outline for the eyes. Once that's dry, you're going to take the back of the brush that you use the black on and you're just going to make the eyes inside the white part for the ladybug. And there you have it. That's how you make the ladybug and the toadstool for your fairy garden. Thank you for joining me in today's craft. Please be sure to take a picture and share your creation with the hashtag little fairy garden, hashtag BCL in social media. Don't forget to click the subscribe button for the Barakani Library's YouTube channel. Hit the bell button so you won't miss any of the next videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time.